What up guys, Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java tutorial. Today we will be working on collisions. So if we go ahead and play our game here, you can see we have our player, and when they hit these little enemy guys here, uh, nothing will happen because there's no collisions. Hopefully by the end of this tutorial there will be though. So pretty much what a collision is for uh, in Java is it's going to take the X and the Y value of the player and see if it matches the X and the Y value for the enemy or whatever you want. So what we need to do to do that is um, go ahead and return the player's X and Y values. So if we do public int get X and all we do is return X in here. Um, now we can call up this method here and it's going to return the X value for our player. So I'm going to do the same thing with the Y. So public int get Y. And it's going to return Y. And then the same thing we'll do with the radius. Public int radius, or uh, I'm sorry, get radius. And then it's going to return radius. Okay. So now all we have to do is call these classes within our enemy method here. So what we're gonna nope. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is in our update method, we're gonna create uh, something or another method inside this update to um, check if we collision. So we're just gonna name it collision. Um, and then if you hover over, it says create method. So there we go. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, enter the player attributes in here. So what we're going to do is in the public void update, we're going to do player. And then I'm just going to name the variable P. In the collision here, I'm going to press P, or I'm going to type in P. And then in the collision, I'm just going to do player P. And now we can get these, at, uh, these methods that we set uh, from here. So now we can, only, we can do that by typing int. And then this is the variable that we're going to set. So I'm going to say px, uh, which will be the player x, equals p dot get x. So now in this variable px will be stored the x value of our player. So do int py equals p dot get y. And it will do pr equals p dot get radius. So now what we have to do is get a uh, if statement going here. So we can do if um, px, and we're going to do minus 32 because our enemy uh, sprite or our enemy graphic is a 32 by 32 pixel. So we're going to say minus 32 is less than equal to x, and we do the double and sign, uh, px is greater than equal to x we can do px plus 32 and what we'll do here is we'll do system dot out dot print uh, and then we'll just print collision detected so this should uh, get the x value for oh and it looks like we got an error here in the main class, in the enemies, you're just going to go ahead and do a comma and then P. Okay. So if we go ahead and play it here, you see collision detected because on the X uh, axis here, uh, it is getting uh, detected. So now we need to do the same thing for the Y. So if we do and PY minus 32 is less than equal to Y and Py um, plus 32 is greater than or equal to y. And I guess we really didn't need this radius here. Um, you could always, instead of using these um, minus 32 and plus 32, you could just set the enemy radius or the player radius to 32, and that will um, do that. The only reason I have radius in here is because. Uh, before we put in our image, we were using a radius and kind of forgot to take that out. And I kind of put it into here, so we can go ahead and delete that. But if you're not using a, an image, 
and you have a radius, I would suggest putting this in for the PX, say minus PR. Okay, so if we go ahead and play this now, as you can see, we're looking down here to see if our collision is working. So if we go ahead and run over them, boom, collision detected right when you get over them. So uh, we can do this again, ready? Look at that bar shrink. Boom. Okay, so now we can even put uh, some actions in here. Let me see how we're doing on time. Um, all right, I guess I can I can do it real fast. So what we can do here is we can do p dot restart, and you see uh, this is when it's uh, collided, and we can go ahead and just create a method for that in the player class, and we can just set x t equal two hundred and y equal 200 so every time you collide it will start up this p.restart method here which will set the x and the y value to 200 so every time you collide with them uh, he will go back to his starting point so if we go ahead and you see he's right back there and that's pretty much how you do collisions hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any concerns go ahead and comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can uh, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you guys next tutorial.